Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a different kind of video. This is something I had in my head to do. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about my local scene here in Indiana. Um, you know, when I was growing up and kind of getting into heavy metal, I found a few bands here and there uh, from Indiana, which I thought was cool, but I never really dove deep into it. But ever since, you know, in the last several years, I've really dove headfirst into my local scene as much as I can. I tried to support these bands as much as I could. And, you know, doing this YouTube thing, I mean, I've allowed me to, you know, meet some of these bands, become friends with them, and make so many different connections. And honestly, you've got to support your local scene. I've said this for a long time because, you know, all these bands that we listen to, your Metallicas, your Cannibal Corpses, your King Diamonds, your, you know, all these bands were local bands at some point. If it wasn't for their fans supporting them throughout the years, they would not be where they are today. And you could have the next big thing in your scene and you don't even know it. And if you don't support them and they decide to call it quits, none of us could ever hear their music. And that would be a damn tragedy. Um, and, you know, last year was an absolutely killer year for metal. And especially, I thought, for my scene here in Indiana. And so far in 2024, it is shaping up to be another killer year. Again, not only for metal in general, but for here in Indiana. Um, we've gotten some really cool releases so far. Uh, some of these I've actually reviewed, so if you want my full thoughts on them. Go check out the reviews. Uh, starting off, we have Carcosa, Black and Death Metal out of Fort Wayne. They are dropping their debut full-length album tomorrow, in fact, the 23rd, uh, through Redefining Darkness Records, which is an absolutely killer label, and I think a perfect fit for those guys. Uh, Wizard Death just released their debut EP on Wise Blood Records, uh, just traditional heavy metal out of Fort Wayne. Uh, Atavistic Decay, Doom Death out of Indianapolis, dropped an absolutely crushing debut demo here recently and according to the band i believe there's some tapes coming just this next month which hopefully somebody will also pick up the rights to do the cd press i would love to have a cd of it because you know i'm first and foremost a cd person but i will definitely be buying a tape as soon as they are available uh cloud of souls uh which is a side project for lava born uh vocalist chris uh chris lot latte i can never say his last name right i apologize dude um yeah uh he's um plays this kind of black and doom heavy metal hybrid uh he's of course located in indianapolis he just released his second full length album entitled a constant state of flux now he has said though that this is a completely different beast from his debut album which was last year's a fate decided which i absolutely loved so i'm very interested in checking that out i haven't had a chance to uh, give it a full listen yet um crossfire Metallic Hardcore out of Indianapolis just released an absolutely killer debut demo through Wise Blood Records as well. Uh, they have announced they're going to be recording an EP here in May, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, then we have Manifestations, a deathcore band out of Gary. I know not a lot of people like deathcore, but this is actually closer, I think, to brutal death metal at times. But still very solid. Uh, just released their second EP this year entitled Our Death Will Mean Nothing, and it actually contains a guest spot by uh, Jason Schultz, the guitarist for Wraith. And uh, speaking of Wraith, they are going to kick off the next part of this video, which is the what I call the in-process list. Uh, these are bands that have either said they're going to work on new material or are actually currently working on it or have something that's getting ready to come out. Um, and some of these, are, it's not guaranteed that we're going to get it here in 2024, but I'm definitely keeping my fingers crossed. But yeah, Wraith, Black and Speed Metal, Thrash Metal from here in Indiana. There's, it doesn't list a definitive location on the Metal Archives, and I don't even think on their band camp they even say where they're exactly from. But yeah, they are currently working on some new material. And uh, while we're at it, you know, Jason also has another project called Idle Throne. They're more of a thrash power metal band out of Highland, Indiana. Uh... Their second album and follow-up to 2022's The Sibylline Age debut is in the mixing stages currently, and I am very anxious to check that out because I loved that debut album. Uh, going back to Chris and his uh, main project, Lava Born, Doom Metal out of Indianapolis. Uh, they are currently trying to work on their... Uh, follow up to their debut black wing gods uh, they have most of it demoed and they're hoping to have it out uh in 2024 but again they're one of those ones that it's not guaranteed that they're going to get it but that's definitely one that i'm hoping gets released this year uh as is this next one uh that is cursed blade heavy metal out of indianapolis i actually just uh talked to uh Ty Winslow, their vocalist, because, uh, you know, I hadn't talked to him in so long, and I was making sure the dude was still alive. Uh, very cool guy. Uh, and I asked him, hey, you guys 
working on anything new. I haven't heard anything. He said they are currently working on their debut full length album. He believes all they have left is their is the bass and the vocals. So I'm very anxious and uh, hoping that they will get that done and somehow get it out this year. He said, you know, they've had a lot of setbacks. I know uh, their bassist left last year. And uh, he said once they get everything recorded, they got to find a label that's going to put it out and everything else. So here's hoping that one comes out in 2024. Uh, keeping on the traditional heavy metal route, we have Throne of Iron out of Bloomington, which, funny enough, is actually where I work currently. Uh, yeah, their second full-length album and follow-up to 2020's Adventure 1 is currently in production as I speak. So, yeah, that's another one that I uh, definitely look forward to. All right, going back into towards a uh, more doomy style here, we have Veilcast, Doom Sludge out of Indianapolis. A lot of Indianapolis bands, you know, we're kind of sprinkling in a little bit throughout the state, but mostly sticking with Indianapolis because that's kind of like the hub for the indie metal scene, it seems like. Uh, yeah, they are currently running the follow-up to uh, last year's excellent Precipice album, um, and they're actually booking shows for 2024. So, yeah, while they're working on that, go catch them live if you get a chance. All righty. Moving on, uh, Hate Song, the blackened or kind of black metal, crust, punk uh, band out of Indianapolis. I actually just made a Facebook post here recently teasing some new material. Um, no further details have actually been given, just kind of like a cover and saying, you know, it's, something is coming. I don't know if it's going to be just a single. It's going to be an EP. Is it going to be a full length album? I don't know. But it's got me very intrigued because I've loved everything that Hate Song has put out so far. Uh, sticking in the blackened territory, uh, Vile Iniquity, Blackened Thrash out of Columbus. Uh, they are currently running a debut full length album, and they did release uh, the Unto the Earth EP just last year. As those songs, as they said, just really didn't fit the style that they were going for with this debut full length album. So, you know, this is kind of like a, you know, here's a holdover until we can get this. Uh, album written and everything you know they don't quite fit but you know here enjoy these songs while we finish writing what we're really wanting to put out for a full length album so yeah another one i am highly anticipating uh death metalers one body six grays out of converse indiana which is a place i didn't even know existed until i discovered their <laughs> debut uh ep uh they are currently uh working on a follow-up to said ep the it was a uh, self-titled ep that came out in 2022 so yeah, another band that I'm looking forward to uh, hearing some more from. Uh, Carrion Veil, vale, melodic death metal out of Richmond. You know, they uh, just announced recently that they are getting ready to release their fourth full-length album on March 29th through Unique Leader Records. Uh, Pre-orders are live for that, and uh, which reminds me, I need to get on that after I get done with this video because I really want to pick up a copy of that album. Uh, yeah, next up, Death Metal Juggernauts Obscene. Uh, again, out of Indianapolis, uh, their new album is finished recording. I've been keeping an eye on their Facebook post, and they finished recording not that long ago. So now it's just a matter of waiting for more details to come out. You know, cover art, release date, pre-orders, all that good shit. And as soon as it happens, I'm going to be all over it. Um, yeah, and as if, you know, drummer Brandon Howe isn't busy enough... His other band, the one that he does vocals for, Mother of Graves, who released an absolutely stellar album in the form of uh, Where the Shadows Adorn. Uh, melodic Doom Death, if you are not familiar, which you should be as much as I've talked about this band. They are currently in the studio recording their second full-length album and their debut release for their brand new label, Profound Lore. Um, I was very shocked and uh, elated when I read that they had gotten signed to Profound Lore. Not shocked because I don't think that they deserve to be on a Profound Lore or get signed to a bigger label. Just shocked that they were leaving Wise Blood Records because they were the first band that Wise Blood Records ever signed when there was just a fledgling little label. And, you know, they've released an EP and an absolutely killer album on that label. And then now they're going to be on Profound Lore, getting ready to release a second one. And I am very, very anxious to hear that. Um, yeah. And then last, I want to talk about a band that uh, rose from the ashes of Demiricus, Rest in Power, uh, much like Flesher did. And that is Ritual. And that is with two A's, not one. Um, and I want to guess their style is kind of blackened death metal of some sort there's not much information on this band other than it contains um like i said ex-members of demericus aka dustin bolches of flesher and scott wilson it also contains um 
let me see here, Xander Farrington, formerly of Cadaverous, and I say formerly, as unfortunately, uh, Jesse, the front man for Cadaverous, basically said Cadaverous is no more, they were actually getting ready to do some shows and everything, and then he just kind of dropped that bomb on us and completely shocked a lot of us, so not sure what happened there. But Xander is currently in this new band, and they have at least one other person in the band. Um, and they have played some shows, and they have uh, played some songs at these shows. And people have been raving about them, saying they sound absolutely killer. Uh, they haven't really given any date details about you know when we can expect something. That is said that they are working on stuff that they will be uh, releasing soon. So here's hoping that gets a 2024 release, because frankly... Um, those guys are freaking awesome. I enjoy pretty much everything they have ever done, and I always look forward to hearing new stuff from them. So, yeah, not definitive whether we're going to get anything in 2024, but I'm really hoping, and it's pretty likely, but we shall see. And, uh, yeah, that is going to do it. Like I said, a completely different kind of video. Sorry I rambled on a uh, little bit. But, yeah, I just kind of wanted to put that out there, talk about my scene, see, you know, show you that, you know, we do have more than corn here in Indiana. We're more than corn and gas stations, because I swear to God, that's all we seem to have in this damn state. But we also have some kick-ass metal, uh, and I, with the Crossfire demo, I've discovered we've also got some really cool metallic hardcore bands, so that's another uh, scene here in Indiana i got to kind of jump into and see what I can find. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and until next time, stay brutal.